Every year, A24 drops a slew of gems throughout the year, but there's always one film regards to the hype that rise above the rest. Last year was Everything Everywhere All at Once, and every single year, Hereditary hit it one year, Midsummer the other, and I think that Past Lives is that film. Out of all the A24 films that's come out this year, obviously Bo Was Afraid was the bigger looking film, but Past Lives is the one that's got the most positive reaction and has stand the test of time in terms of as the months pass, people still talk about the film. So going to the film now that it's on digital, I was really excited to finally to get it checked out. But in this case unfortunately for me personally i think the hype let me down let me break it down nor and hey sung two deeply connected childhood friends are rest apart after nor's family emigrates from south korea to america Decades later, they are reunited for one faithful week as they confront destiny, love, and the choices that make a life. We've all seen movies where ex-lovers or friends are reconnecting after long periods of not seeing each other. Sliding Doors starring Gwyneth Paltrow and When Harry Met Sally are two films that come to mind. But what makes this film unique and harnesses those themes in a unique way is the toils and the troubles of migrating to another country as a young person with aspiring dreams and leaving someone that was important to you behind. We see the two main characters, Nora and Hey Young. I'm, hopefully I'm saying his, his name correctly. I'm not 100% sure. But before we get to the present day, they try to reconnect when they were younger. Hey Young searching out for Nora and finding her on Facebook of all places. And them, you know, talking over Zoom, trying to connect over Zoom and really like catching up to all the years that they've missed. And if you have migrated from another country, you know WhatsApp, Zoom, and all these different things that let you see and talk to people for free are essential and they touch on those things those struggles of connecting with somebody that's in a different country when it comes to different time zones and you are about to go to sleep but that person needs to go to work because it's uh eight o'clock in the morning for them but it's eight o'clock at night for you and different things like that that the movie touches on that adds a little flavor and make it more relatable for people who have family that are in other countries or have family that moved here from other countries and trying to connect with them and you being a first or second generation child uh be integrated in that dealing with that you can always remember a parent zooming with their grandma maybe and you just peek over and you talk and sometimes a zoom call or whatsapp call would mess up so they play with that a lot here and a lot of it dwells down to you know how long can you do that until you realize maybe this is not enough that physical touch that physical wanting of someone being right there and having that future with them eventually creeps in your mind and then years later, they reconnect. That's in the trailer. We see that happen. Here's home. Wow, and when they reconnect the chemistry that void of missing time and how much they miss each other is palpable it's strong these two actors have a lot of chemistry with each other and i can see why they would be physically attracted to each other it's there just how the way they look at each other the way they embrace it's really really sweet and nice and it makes you root for them to be together they have that chemistry that you see in the best rom-coms but the problem is, however, the issues, all the different negatives you could say, the best character in this movie is not the two leads, to me at least. It's Arthur, who is married to Nora, and that's where the drama and the crux of this comes in. Moved on since the last time they spoke. She's married, she's with someone that is fully invested in her, and he, you know, a lot of times in these movies, the stereotype is, oh, you know, these two characters are Korean and her husband is white and it will be the evil white husband that doesn't want her to connect with her old friends and they even kind of joke at that in the film itself but they don't do that the Arthur is one of the most sweetest characters and most understanding to a fault characters I've ever seen in the film and he really grounded the film in a way and and dropped a lot of gems throughout the film that I really really liked and made me connect with his character a lot because he had a lot of characterization and autonomy and I thought that even though i not 100% like what they did with his autonomy. I, I loved and understood where he was coming from 
and how he had these insecurities that he was trying to let go and let his wife kind of explore things and not regret things. The real highlight and the real star here is Celine Song, the director and writer of this film. This is based on a, like her life and kind of a exaggerated version of something that happened to her. And she does a great job with her and the technical guru of making this movie look gorgeous and directed well. There's so much, so much environmental storytelling from when they're little and they have these statues that kind of foreshadow their future to when they do reconnect in America as adults and we stare walking through like an amusement park mall and the background kind of signifies the things that are happening as they explore where they're at in their relationship now and talk about the past and what could have been and what if there's a lot of what if in this story which is a th strong theme in here and the, the one that was the most beautiful and it's kind of a little bit shown in the trailer is when they're both sitting down in silence kind of just looking at each other and the merry-go-round is going back and it, it was really interesting it just really signified like they're kind of going in a circle and, and trying to figure out how they can get out of this loop <laughs> that they've been in since they were kids and I really really enjoyed her direction I think that she did a great job of really telling the story she wanted to tell in a very lean way where it didn't feel bloated and it didn't feel too long and really hitting the themes in a way that you understand what she was going for in her in her first time going at it and i'm really excited to see what she can do next and with that there's a lot of solid moments that will evoke thought like a lot of things about you know emigrating and especially if you're someone that migrated from one country to another or that will evoke emotional response because you might be frustrated about character choices or like gleefully looking at this chemistry that these two characters have those are those powerful moments throughout especially the ending the ending is probably the most powerful moment in the film and one of the most frustrating parts of the film is like right before that in a bar scene that they have. So it's like right back to back in the film, they have this build up into these two scenes that for me personally got me frustrated and then was like, like, wow, this is really strong place where they landed. And after all that praise, you're like, wait, Zach, you said this movie disappointing. You didn't like it like everyone else did. Yes, because unfortunately, I feel like this movie hit all the topics and themes and, and even the characters in a very surface level it doesn't hit them in a deep way unfortunately it kind of touches on them and doesn't give a lot of the themes uh time to breathe and i think that's the part that held it back for me for loving it i wanted to love this film but the fact that it felt surface level on all points really hurt it for me in my eyes They don't really dive deep into Nora and Haesung's character outside the professions and a little bit what they did in the past to get there. But even that was still about their professions. We don't know what their likes are, what their wants, what they uh, do when they're not trying to have that chemistry with each other. They don't feel like they're autonomous. They don't feel like characters that live in a space and we're seeing the story that's playing out. It feels like their chess pieces being moved around to tell the specific story. So it was, it was hard for me to get invested in them as a like individual people and then invested them as a couple together because there's a lot of telling me that they love each other telling me that they care about each other telling me that they sh probably sh had a uh, opportunity to have this life together but it's not a lot of showing they don't really show it in the film they don't show why he traveled all the way from one country to another so he has a chance to connect with her again they don't show why nora basically almost risks her her marriage to reconnect with him in this film they they are they just tell me in in a way of why these things are happening which made it a little disappointing made me hard to get invested in a lot of things that was happening in the story and unfortunately on top of that the main character nora even though greta lee i thought she did a great job playing the character but the character the, herself not the actress was just not a character that i was a fan of or liked i think hey sung was very boring and that's partly 
the actor. I don't think he was super charismatic. He was kind of just a hunk, <laughs> honestly. Um, and he didn't really get a lot of opportunity to stretch any acting muscles or be char like super charismatic or fun and show why like she would be taking this risk. And then Nora just made a lot of decisions in this film that frustrate me in a way where I didn't like her character. And she was the main character. This is the one that we see in a lot of the movie through her eyes. And I was just like, like you have such a good opportunities in your life and you have uh, such a loving husband and she does disrespectful things, especially in that bar scene that I mentioned earlier that really ticked me off and made me not really root for anything that was happening. I, I just started disliking the husband because of what he was taking and how too understanding he became. And I disliked Nora and Hey Sung, who I kind of was like liking and rooting for a little bit up until that point because how, uh, messed up i felt like that situation was having the husband sitting there while they're talking to each other in another language that he can barely understand he knew some korean but not enough to follow everything along and talking about what could have been with him there it just felt really wrong and it evoked a frustrating feeling in a negative way not a positive way for me this is a movie I felt myself wanting to love. After hearing so many great things about it, I was like, oh, this is gonna be one of my top five favorite films of the year. But unfortunately, because of the lack of death in most of the parts of the movie, themes, characters, story, minus the filmmaking, which I thought was great, this movie didn't really get the hit for me like many of the A24 dramas before it, unfortunately. And while I, it's not a dumpster fire, it's not a bad film, I still think you should check it out, especially if you are a film bro, a cinephile, or anything like that. You like those kind of films. And I am in the minority. A lot of people think this is a masterpiece. But for me, I think it's a really good film that just disappointed me because I had a lot of high expectations going in. So with that said, I'm going to give Past Lives a C+. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What would you personally rate Past Lives? Let me know your favorite parts of the film, why you think it's a masterpiece if you do, or if you agree with my opinion, let me know as well. Are you going to check out Celine Song's next film? I think that she is a talented filmmaker and I'm excited to watch, see what she does next. And I'm really excited to see what the next a24 film is like the video get this video pop in attack that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can notify my reviews reactions slide discussions and join this growing community and you can check out my content right now mm -hmm.